All right, now to our debate on the buck stops here this evening. Has the Fai case actually changed the contours of the Kashmir debate in the subcontinent, subcontinent forever? And has it been a huge setback for Pakistan's Kashmir agenda? In India, the debate has tended to concentrate on the intellectuals and writers who attended the Gulam Nabi Fai conferences. But is that the real debate? Or does it expose, in a sense, a new fault line, a new watershed moment in the larger Kashmir debate. Let's introduce our panel this evening. We're joined by KC Singh. He's, of course, a former secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs. We're also joined by Dr. Radha Kumar. She is on the panel of interlocutors uh, for Kashmir, representing the government of India. In the studio, we're joined by Professor Kamal Mitra Chinoy, who's with the School of International Studies in JNU, also well-known commentator Ashok Malik. Joining us from Islamabad tonight, Musharraf Zaidi, well-known commentator and writer. We were expecting Mirwais Omar Farooq on the panel. We're still hoping to hear from him through the course of this debate. Let me get uh, started, if I may, with you, uh, Radha Kumar. Uh, uh, you know, we've seen Pakistan's Foreign Secretary Salman Bashir come into Delhi and after the Foreign Secretary talks back Gulam Nabi Fai, not directly taking on the charges of him being an ISI agent, but continuing to uh, hold him up as an example of an important voice in the Kashmir debate. But when you look at the fact that this man is going to be charged actually in a few hours from now and being, you know, as being someone on the bank rolls of the ISI. Does it, in a sense, change uh, Pakistan's position and the strength from which or the influence from which it is traditionally operated when it comes to Kashmir? Uh, Barkha, you know that Pakistan is not within our mandate. Uh, so let me focus on the impact this should have in terms of a Kashmir peace process. Um, as you know, the diaspora in almost all situations of conflict can play a very important role. And FI was mobilizing the diaspora for one particular type of position uh, within uh, the Jammu and Kashmir uh, issue. Now, with this arrest, what we see is that uh, trying to use the power of money is not an acceptable way of influencing or directing a peace process or indeed uh, um, uh, a lobbying or, or effort. And that, I think, will have very far-reaching consequences for a good resolution and a good peace process uh, in Jammu and Kashmir. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.